Hello friends! Today we're going to be talking about Godot, the game engine. It's a relatively new game engine that's uh, open source, so anybody can use it for free forever, which is really neat. And today we're going to be playing a couple of the games on the Godot engine, off their showcase page. I don't know if you guys know about this, but I am actually a Unity programmer myself. That's something I do, well, not professionally, but as a hobby. I have made a couple games, but I've also made my background. Here, I'll show you. So my background is made in Unity, which gives me a couple options, like I can shift over the scenes as I want to, I can hit the button to fade out and fade in the music. And yeah, I just made that in Unity myself. Just a simple background. I didn't make the background itself, but or the music for that matter. I am... Mm. But I, yeah, I set up the parallax scrolling, I set up a couple of scripts to uh, drift the camera on its own, and a scene control, which lets me change between the different uh, scenes, volume controls, just some simple fun stuff. <laughs> and if I go into the crystal cave, and I pan to the right, it actually always breaks. And I need to fix it every time I save and, and render the program. Every time I save and build the program, rather. This breaks and I need, it, and I need to do it a set twice. So if I do it twice, then it works fine. And that's that's good enough. That works. That's It works like a charm. It's, it's perfect. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but today, we are going to be playing a couple of Godot games. Now, these are games from their page, from their showcase. And we'll see what they'd like, what they think is a good thing. Let me set this up here briefly. There we go, new hive. Uh, we'll definitely need the tutorials. Start new hive. Okay, 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 okay. So this is called Hive Time. Yes. Here's a rundown of the common controls. Select and interact with left. Quick. Okay. Repeat a build action by holding shift. Pan the camera with middle. And interact with space. Okay, okay, okay. Your first hive consists of a throne room surrounded by 12 worker construction uh, empty cells. Under construction empty cells. Cells are constructed by worker bees and have a builder bees automatically when you get them. Got it, got it. Okay. So we'll need to... Okay, these are automatically being made into cells already. First, build an exit. Each exit allows three worker bees or forager bees to leave and gather pollen and nectar. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, where should our exit be? I feel like we don't want the exit too close to the queen, right? So let's make a build out. Okay, so this expands when we make cells. Okay, okay, okay. Let's build out a little bit and put the exit over here. <laughs> so I guess that when we get the worker bees, they'll construct things faster, but construction seems to be pretty quick already, so I don't think that's too much of a worry for us. Um, resource exit. Oh, there it is. Okay. What do we have? Resource exit wax assembler. That seems like a good idea. Um, oh, next build a wax assembler. Yay, we had the right idea. Worker bees use wax assemblers to replenish your wax. Okay. Uh, wax assembly. Good, good. Can I make a bunch of exits next to each other? Do like these need to be farther, or they say each exit only supports three bees? Uh, I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, so right now everything's being stored in here. What else do we have? Storage cells. Okay, so we can make cells to store. Oh, fill that storage. The hive uses five types of resources. Pollen and nectar come from the exit cells, right? Wax, honey, and jelly are produced by the bees at assemblers or refineries at the cost of existing resources. Okay, so pollen and nectar are your base resources, and then these are extrapolated from those. <laughs> uh, well, let's get some extra storage cells, because we're running low on wax quickly. Which means we need more pollen and more nectar. 
So let's add... Okay, we can make pollen and nectar storage as soon as we have the wax. You know, we find another wax refinery too, huh? Just because we're going through it pretty quick. We need more bees. Faster building? Oh yeah, okay. We'll need more bees eventually. Let's get a... No, um... What? What did I set to that? I think I pushed a button on accident. Pollen storage. I forget what I... Oh, it's exit? Oh, no, I didn't want an exit there. Uh, destroy. This was... Pollen storage. And this one will be... No, I... No, I... Oh, oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm hitting exit as in cancel. I'm hitting exit as in go back, and it's... Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Pollen storage. As soon as I get the wax. What does the wax say? Is there a... Pollen storage and storage cells. Nectar storage. We need another wax thing for sure. Need ten of each? Okay. Oh, and that stores next to a ten. That's actually a lot. Great. I mean, we need more bees, though. Because we're not getting resources fast enough. I mean, we're getting resources fast enough just for chilling and vibing. Which I guess is kind of what we're, I'm supposed to be doing. But I need more pollen. Storage cells. Nectar storage. Yes. That's nectar? Yes, that's nectar. And then... Honey. Pusa honey refinery. Oh. Typical day at the exit. Okay, good. And then... We'll get another wax refinery as soon as we have enough wax to make a wax refinery out of the waxes for the, all those refineries. Assemblies. Do you assemble the wax or do you refine it? I feel kind of like... Mm hmm. Pun? Pun, 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 pun? Uh, what else do we have to build? Roll cells. Uh, ooh, a nursery. Yeah, no, that seems... I assume that makes new bees? Maybe? I have no idea. Okay. That's fine. Once we get more bees, we should be able to get more... Well, more resources, and then more resources can make more bees, and more bees can make more resources, and then we'll take over the world! Ha 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 ha! Mm-hmm. Uh, typical day of life of the exit. Okay, so that just gives me a notification periodically in case something starts to go wrong, I'm notified. Beepedia topic unlocked. Uh, yeah, I'm all about that. Bee sitters work at nurseries to train up the next generation of bees faster than they would otherwise spawns. Need more bees? Get more bee sitters. Oh, neat. Okay. And nursery is a place where new bees spawn, increase the population and limit, and allow bee sitters, which increase population growth. Okay, okay, okay. So I was right. Um, population. We need more bee sitters then. Yes, yes. Oh. Uh, you know what? Let's go, let's go huge on bee sitters. Mm hmm And we'll get a couple more of these as well, I think. Just because we really want to maximize our bees. I thought, um, you know what? Yes, we want to maximize our bees. That's what this game is about. I imagine this doesn't really have an end game per se. It seems like it's just going to be... Uh, typical day at the exit. Hive has no bee sitters. Well, we're working on that. We're working on that. There, we have one now. So that's out of date. <laughs> and so we're at four bees, which seems low. We're just going to stack some nurseries here. So every time this goes around, does it create a bee? It does. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> and we have three exits here. Oh! Warm season is that time where the air opens to flowers. Foragers and workers are able to collect more pollen and nectar. Nice! I mean, that implies that there's going to be a cold season too, which isn't less, which is less nice, but... I mean, for now... For now that's fine. Wait, how many... Okay, we can max out at six bee sitters. Okay, we can max out at eight bee sitters now. So do I need to adjust the population slider then? Um, 
What is 8 out of 30? 35%-ish, maybe? I would kind of wish this actually gave numbers instead of uh, percentages. Is that, yeah, the current population, that's just current population. We'll just go with 35 and hope for the best. Typical day life. Okay, typical day in the life of the throne room. Good. <laughs> I assume that once this caps, they're not going to try to make more. I, mean, I assume that's not going to go to like 9 out of 8 and just bottleneck me at bee sitters. Nurseries increase your population limit. Unlock in the bee uh, population management screen. Yep, I found that on my own. Yes, thank you. Uh, initially, bees spawn at a set rate, but when a bee sitter is birthed in the nursery, they'll spawn faster. Bee lifespans are short, so too few bee sitters will cause the population to decline, which probably kills us during the slow season. Oh, time to build a workshop. Workshops unlock the builder role, as well as the ability to research new construction options. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Um, when a roll population is over capacity, bees at that roll lose half their normal lifespan. Oh no, so it will go to 9 out of 8, and I'll get punished for it. I have to do math. This game's going to make me do math. I didn't know there was going to be math involved. Um, it's fine. No, it's fine. It's it's fine. This is good. Good and fine. Yes. Uh, do we have wax storage? I feel like we should have a wax storage. Huh? We do not. Okay. Maybe once... No, no. It doesn't actually increase my cap. That's fine. Um, roll cells workshop. Found it. Should probably start making more cells just in general. Yeah. Buzz, buzz, buzz. So here's a fun fact. Nope. Oh, three bees per cell. Research needs builders to progress. Each cell has room for three working bees. Three builders can research a single workshop at once, but wax assemblers have room for nine workers. Left click on a workshop and click research. Okay. Um, research. What can we get? Oh, cells. Cell upgrades. Oh. A map room. Ooh, ooh. Bees are actually good at maps. That seems makes sense. Yes. Okay. We clicked it, and it's doing that now. I can't seem to undo it. Cell upgrades. Throne room upgrade. Definitely want that one, right? Um. Upgraded rooms allow bee activity, more bee activity to be viewed, and unlock additional research options. Okay. Worker upgrade makes workers more betterer. Then bee upgrade, and, which I guess we'll have to unlock more of later on. Wait, how come I don't have bees here? Um. Oh, I need builders. That's what it is. Awesome. Thanks. So if I go in here, population builders. Get ten builders and add another workshop here. Um, that's quick maths. That's that's how you do math around here. It's, that's math. That counts as math these days. Should I have more exits? Maybe I should have a back exit. A side exit. Was oh, there a rock there? <gasps> I found a rock. Okay, we're gonna have a rock exit. The rock is where the, we're gonna get out of here. So workers can do everything, but. We want... Is this actually researching now that I have a, a builder? Or no, it's a builder. Wait, I need builders to research, right? Um, wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, for builders to research here. Okay, so am I researching now? I am! Okay, cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just remembered math, how math works. 10%... Yeah, I have too many beekeepers... And not enough builders. Mm -hmm. Eventually, I imagine that you... Look at that math. Look at that math. I imagine that eventually you would want... Exit. That you would eventually want no workers and everybody specialized, because specialized is, are going to work faster. Let's make some more storage. Mm -hmm. Um, how do I upgrade this? Oh, I mean, upgrade is a research. I upgrade it through research. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling no concern about the engine. Like, the game engine works fine. As far as the whole Godot side of it goes. It really... I mean, it's not a terribly 
um, powerful game. Like, it's not a very intense game. Oh, I have too many builders. How do I increase my builder cap? Another workshop? That seems fine. Let's make another workshop, then. Are auto save. Oh, okay. Now, what's this do? Oh, that pauses the game. Oh, that's the main menu. No, no, continue. Continue, resume. And over here is the foundation of a successful hive. Your hive is a successful, have a productive population, and you are able to have new bees specialize in particular roles. Continue to grow your hive with storage, production, and role-based focus facilities. Sure. Accumulate 600 uh, jelly before the current queen dies. Uh-oh. Okay, that makes sense. Research jelly production. Woo! Um, first thing we're researching right now... Oh, we finished the map room. Oh, good. So this is going to be two more, two more, and then this we can make a map room. And then this... Storage for pollen. Storage for pollen. Storage for nectar. Oh, once we get more wax. So I'm actually afraid of bees, but like... A, I'm afraid of actual bees, not... New population slider. Oh! Population... We actually can make foragers, which actually seems pretty... Oh, determined by the map room. Ah. Uh, what if I just drop this number here? No. Yeah, that makes... This, this goes here, and we can... Uh, that seems good, I guess? We probably need another map room then. I thought map room was just going to be a one-off, but I guess we need map rooms. Because, because, get it? Nope, never mind. Don't, don't worry about it. Storage cells, more nectar. I guess we'll make another map room. Add a cell here. We're actually starting to get stuff. How's our research doing? Current research, none. Can't have that. Uh, cells... Oh, it is wax storage. Oh, that seems incredibly useful. How do I... Pick... Oh. I don't know what changed there, but I just kept on clicking it until it worked. That's fine. Let's add another map room. So we need to upgrade the queen. Mm hmm. Queen dies... So we have to have six. We have to have enough royal jelly for a new queen before the current queen dies. Maybe we'll keep on going until we have the second generation of queen. We have too many builders. Um, where is it? Here, population. Sure, that works for me. Hare. Let's make some. Good old cells here. What is this? Faster building. Oh yeah, we can do that thing to re make things go faster. It's interesting that research, you have to click on the research cell. I don't see an actual research button near the top. Oh, current research none. We finished that. Don't even upgrade. We requires the wax storage to have enough wax to hit the max. So let's just make a bunch of wax storage. Ha! <laughs> and someone will make wax in a moment. We have a lot of resources for wa waxing, so people need to start making them waxes. Good job. You're doing it. Hmm. Typical day in the workshop. I did also notice that there we can be attacked, it looks like. We can make defenders, which is something that... Oh, wow, that wax spikes up. Wax goes low and then spikes really fast. That's good to know. Uh, there's probably a... Mm -hmm. There's probably a combat training thing, too. Cell upgrades, throne room upgrade we can do now. Then we've got most. Of, I get you know. I get but getting the throne room upgrade is going to unlock a whole bunch of stuff. Kind of like uh, unlocking the um, the next tier of your fortress in Warcraft. Remember Warcraft, the classic Warcrafts. How you had to, uh, you built your town hall and upgraded it to a fortress, then to a castle. 
I bet it's like that. We'll make a couple more exits as long as we might as well. I guess we don't really have a bottleneck right now. Everything is flowing perfectly and wonderfully, and we have nothing to be afraid of. Except for the fact that we need to finish this research before the queen um, buzzes off. But yeah, I'm... Oh, research complete. Throne room upgrade is complete. For a throne room research upgrade? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, just go ahead and do it. Um, grab the workshop upgrade. Excellent. And our numbers are perfect. I love it. We have this will be our last upgrade here. I kind of miss the old RTS genre. One research option is available now. Um, wax assembler. Oh, wax assembler upgrade. Oh, that sounds great. Oh, we just got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so got a wax assembler upgrade. Special bees, like specialties, are rare bees that live longer and have higher efficiencies than regular bees. The visual appearance can be custom can be customized. And manually assigned a role, making them the most versatile individuals in the hive. Oh, neat. Mm hmm. Oh, special bees can be named after active chat users. Oh, wow. Cool. Um. 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 Okay. That that's pretty neat. Leave it. There we go. Uh, one new research wax assembly upgrade, which we are definitely want to do. No, no, we're going to upgrade the workshop first. We're, ma we're maxing out our workshopping. A uh, bee named Batari has just spawned. There's something special about them. Okay. Well, I hope they have a wonderful day. That actually seems pretty fantastic for, like, community stuff. Or if I was... Although a lot of things tend... I've noticed a lot of things seem to have uh, Twitch integration and not YouTube chat integration. Which, you know, saddens me a little bit for reasons that are very obvious to everybody. Typical day in the map room. Cell list? Oh. Barracks. I see barracks. We don't have any barracks, but we can't have any barracks, so we need a barracks. We must protect against hornets. Oh, nice. See? That webs out. And I love how it's a, it's a hex system, too. That's adorable. I love it. The upgrades. Tool... Oh, wow. That's expensive. Tool belts... And Royal Decrees provides two positive effects and one negative. Ooh, cold season. Okay, good to note. Um, provides two positive effects and one negative effect per queen for all future queens most of the time. That seems really interesting, and I have no idea what it means. Uh, cells, we need the barracks. Yes. And you can't queue this, it doesn't look like. Not yet. I mean, this is... Uh, I don't think we need more map rooms, do we? That that just... Maybe we do need more map rooms, because we want more foragers. Why do we have so many beekeepers? We have, you know what? They, they're... We'll, we'll just do that for now. You know what? That, those look like good numbers. Those are how numbers works, probably. More nurseries gives us higher bee cap too, right? So let's slam some of these down. <laughs> I also have all this room down here, which I haven't done. You know, this will be the barracks. Right by the entrance, perfect. This will be a line of five barrackses. Protecting more workshops. Little cells workshop. And you know, I want two more maps. And might as well get more storage while we're at it. But we have a ton of wax storage, which I love. <laughs> so this will make storage... Uh, this is nectar? Wait, no, that one was, in, was supposed to be... No, wait, I'm messing this all up. No, these are not, these are not what I have plans. I wanted this wax to keep on going in this diagonal, so... Storage for... Nectar... And more nectar. These are both maps. These are actually excellent at maps. I mean, not like tangible maps, but bees do create... Yeah, that's right. But bees actually do know about the world around them and can communicate 
they map two other bees, which is actually really fascinating. We have too many foragers, or do we have need another map? Huh? Huh? You know what? We'll add a map over here, just so we have a map right by the by the entrance. That seems like a good place for a map. We probably finished that research. Yeah, we finished that research a long time ago. Um, honey refinery. That seems important. How do we get royal je jelly storage? Ah, but we need to be able to make jelly too. Jelly refinery. That's what we need. Requires fifty nectar, or no? It requires fifty honey. So we need honey storage. That is what we need. First, though, let's get some barracks in here to protect us. Those are cheap to make, I'm surprised. I wonder if they also serve as defensive buildings. I genuinely don't know if they do or not. Um, sure. Ah, whoops! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, we can do a little bit more waxing. Wax. Storage cell for waxing. We will need... When this is done here... We'll have honey storage, or we'll have honey, the ability to make honey, which we just got. And then, didn't we? Oh no, we got honey, we got honey storage without the honey refinery. Okay, well that was not, maybe not the best option. Um, population, we need some defenders. And now I'm actually going to drop the... Oh, wait. Um, we can lock these. That would be smart. Oh, we can only lock two of them, though. I wonder why we can only lock two of them. Hmm. We're actually going to set our default bees to zero so that everybody is being specific. Did we get the thing? No. We are still working on the honey refinery. Then we're just going to make a whole bunch of honey refineries out this way. So I might as well start building cells out this way. Because we're going to need a whole bunch of that, because we're going to need 600 jelly before the queen moves on. Oh, so the worker bees are... Are they stopping the research to go build things? Is that what's happening? Oh, they are. Okay, okay. So building things takes the construction bees away from research. It was actually a really interesting uh, dual management. That way you can't just have... Um... Okay, okay. Yeah, so if you're building new stuff, then you are naturally pausing research. That would be interesting in an, in an RTS game. <laughs> These numbers look good. And then this area is going to be all honey all the time. We can even, you know, since we already have things capped out, or close to, we can start adding honey storages. No, honey storages require honey. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but like, okay, okay, okay. So we'll just chill for this to finish. I actually have a fear of wasps in real, in like, just in general. Wasps are terrifying. I wouldn't say it's a phobia, because a phobia is an illogical fear, an irrational fear, and it's perfectly rational to be afraid of wasps. So it's not a phobia. That's how that works. <laughs> Excellent. Research ha halfway done. I think we just kind of vibe now. I guess we could make more workshops, but these all seem to be going fine. Everyone's doing their job. We have pretty much enough of all the resources we really need. Hmm. Oh wait, could that only? Oh, can that only be made from workers? Uh oh, I might need to adjust and get some workers back. I guess we go even. I guess we go even numbers. But yeah, because we're not getting any more wax. And we have the storage space. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so when we get more workers, they can, well, work. Um, wasn't there an upgrade, or was that just a passive upgrade? 
Yeah, waiting for workers. Heck, maybe workers are some of the most important ones then, if they are the ones who make honey. And clearly they make wax. And the game sort of auto-balances the individual bees' birth. A bee named Lyra has respawned. There's something special about them. Left click to follow. Hello, Lyra. How do you do? Oh, I can zoom in. I don't think I can pan the camera. You have a hat. I like your hat. I hope you have a wonderful hat day. Almost done. Uh, typical life day in the barracks. And research is almost complete. When that's done, we'll make jelly refinery. No, we'll make jelly. Can't do either of those. Um, storage upgrades, nursery upgrades. Allows clusters of nurseries to be upgraded. Upgraded nurseries increase bee sitter population capacity. Okay. And hive limit. What do you know? We do need more of those. We do need more limit. There's the wax assembler upgrade. It requires... Oh, more stuff. Let's get the... Ge okay, so let's... Hmm. Let's just get this, uh... Where is it? Honey refinery train moving. Honey ref Okay, so it has to be on that side. Okay. Honey refinery there. Can I... Oh, I guess I can't make them stacked quite... I mean, I can make... I, I can't choose what angle they go at. That's fine. Honey refinery there. And then... This needs to be a cell, so we can keep on growing. What do I want to do here? Honestly, I think you just need like three more nurseries, huh? Well, I have three when you can have five. I mean, that's just basic math. That was a map room. Nursery. Yeah, we just need more bees right now, I think. Just good quantity. Sell. Do we have any... We mostly filled up this area, which is pretty good. I guess each of these will become a honey storage. Nice! They're already working. Okay, that's great. So this will become a honey refinery. Once I get more wax. We need another wax thingy? I think we might need another wax thingy. We'll add one over there. What am I researching? Nothing. I... Okay, okay. Cell upgrades. Mm -hmm. Those seem good. Wax assembler upgrade seems really good, too. Oh! Do these unlock? Honey storage upgrade. Hmm... I guess we can do the map room upgrade. Do we have any other cells that we need? We will need the jelly refinery soon. But first things first, I think we're going to get these... These upgrades first. I'll just wait for these to hit 70 each. Probably wait for the... Well, no, we don't need to wait for that. Wax storage upgrade, done. Oh, howdy, howdy. Comes with a figurative guarantee. A hive-to-hive -hive sales grasshopper stops by with an offer to demonstrate fancy device for converting earning pollen directly into jelly. The process comes with a lot of disclaimers, no warranty, and is clearly uh, less thorough that testing is implied. Sounds awesome. Cool, I didn't know things like that could happen. Where was I? Oh yeah, pollen storage. And then we'll do nectar storage. We need to actually build things, too. <laughs> Excellent. And this will be a honey storage right in the middle there. Okay, okay, okay. Things are getting, coming along. Things are coming along. I think I might need more bees. Things are coming along nicely. 
Now we need, just need all of the honey forever. That's all being built. That's all great. Do we need another wax? I was going to make another wax. Yeah, we definitely want another wax. There we go. And we might want to do more research. Since I'm, you know, I think we don't want more research. We just want to make more research bees. Yes, we'll go research heavy. I tend to go research heavy in RTS games in general. Just because I don't know how old the queen is. I hope she's okay because we don't even have jelly yet. I should probably be researching the jelly thing first. But we need more honey and we're working on that. Is this require... Oh, workers make honey. Okay, so workers are actually more important now than I thought. I thought workers were just going to be default. No, we need more. We need more everything. Heck. Oh, yes. Cool. Uh, what do we not need right now? We don't need foragers as much, so we'll leave that low, and we don't need defenders so much. Well, that, that looks good. That looks good. Mm hmm. And if we hit 50 honey, great. So 50 honey means that we can research jelly storage. Or jelly refinery, rather. And then we can upgrade this other stuff. Oh, we paused that by doing that. You know what? That's fine. Jelly refinery is more, much more important. Much more important. Typical day at the honey refinery. You know, I know it just keeps on giving me the normal thing, stock thing, but it's still fun that it does it, right? Like just saying, oh, a typical day here is still a nice little bit of moment. Uh, why don't we make another exit? Because we haven't made an exit in a while. We, we only have 11 bees. Why do we only... Oh, gosh. We are running low on bees, friends. What happened? What what happened? Why did we lose so many bees? We only have eight? Oh, no. Queen. Hmm. This isn't... Are we, I feel like we're in danger. Are these all going to pop out at once, though? No, only one. Oh, jeez. Maybe we... You know what? I think maybe we just need to do... Do we just need to go all... You know what? No, we need to replenish. We need more bees. We're going all bee sitters. All bee sitters all the time for a little while. Until we get... We have 57 available possible bees. I mean, we can't even research like this. We don't have anybody doing it. Oh, gosh. I feel like we just had some sort of catastrophe, but it was a quiet catastrophe. Ooh. Okay, okay, we have a couple of bee sitters now. We'll put that number down after we get, like, 50. We want to go all the way up to this 57 total available. Should probably get up to 60, huh? Just to be on the safe side. Oh gosh, look at this now. Now we're getting bees. Um, available 28, so we can get half. I mean, that's way too that's way too many, but for now we'll just do that. Because we need lots of bees doing lots of things, and they're not having a great day. Ready? Oh! Daisy picked up a grub the other day, only to find it was wearing three dark stink bugs in it. Oh, only... Okay, it was not a bee. Okay, now we're getting some bees numbers. Now, look, we got bees going on. Okay, that's that's actually going to be enough. You know what? Okay, I think we're going to be okay now. Though it actually legitimately looked a little dire there for a moment. Oh yeah, I, okay. I keep on forgetting that I can uh, make that faster. Okay, sorry, Queen. We... Good, now we're researching again. Probably the builders are the most important, because we want... Yeah, we have a bunch of research that we need to do. Although, no, we are low on foraging. Not terribly low, but low enough that... 
And I guess workers can do everything but research and beekeep. I mean, so far the soldiers don't do anything. I'm just terrified of hornets. Like, legitimately terrified of hornets. Okay, okay, now we're beekeeping. Now we've got bee parties going on. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, that takes a lot, but it's getting there. We need to get that before the queen dies. Which we have no idea... Oh, 26, is that real life minutes? That might be an actual half hour. Okay, so we have an actual half hour to get 600. We should be able to get that pretty easily, I think. Maybe. I mean, no, we'll get that. We'll get that for sure. Mm -hmm. I think right now we just sit back and chat for a few. I guess, no, we need more honey refineries. Or honey storage. I have a lot more things that I want to... Well, I didn't, well, no, we have, we're, st we're capped on honey. We need, you know, we need, we do need more bee, bee search. This will be more bee research. Well, one more storage cell of honey just here, just to complete the look. Yeah. Now we're getting bees. Okay, okay, now we're in business. Wow, we almost had an apocalypse event there. For a few minutes. I'm guessing... I'm guessing that that was related to... What are we in the map room? I'm guessing that that was related to the, uh... To the cold season? Like, have we seen... that? We saw a cold season. And it hurt our growth here, but I didn't realize it was going to hurt our bees. What's that? Oh, that's how much jam we have to... Oh, wait. Produced at a jelly refinery. We just haven't made a jelly refinery yet. But we were working on it. We are very close to a jelly refinery. Oh, look at that research. Look at that bee search. I'm doing my best not to, like, make a bee pun in every single line. But, and it's... I just want you to appreciate the effort that goes into that. Because, like... It takes a lot of effort to refrain from making a constant stream of bee puns. Mm -hmm. Do we have enough exits? I can't really tell. Like, I don't really exactly know where our bottle cap or bottlenecks are. Not bottle caps. I don't know where our bottle caps are right now either, to be fair. I have no idea where our bottle caps are. It's a mystery. We need more builders. Or we know me yeah, we need more researchers. Let's just nudge that up a bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then once we get that, we will immediately make a jelly storage. Oh no, he's continuing with the pollen storage. Okay, that's fine. Now what is a honey, uh... Oop! Ah, ba, ba, ba. This is gonna be... So, wait, so what do we need to, for a, a jelly refinery? Three, oh, three in the opposite shape. Oh, okay. So here... No? No. Oh, because we don't have things. Uh-oh, old bitey has been spotted lumbering towards the hives. We need more defender bees. Oh, boy. Uh, let me continue my current train of thought. No, I don't. No trains of thoughts. No think, just be. Let's crank that up and panic. Definitely need more wax. Wait, we need to. We need to put down actual jelly storage too, which we just got. Storage. Ready? Did we not just get that? Oh no, that was finishing pollen. Oh nuts! We need to actually cells. Jelly storage. As soon as we hit 50 honey, we can start that. Come on. Honey up. 
there. It only takes 45 re effort, so that should be up very quickly. How long is the spare alert going on, though? So I don't actually, I really don't want this many defenders. And I don't want... Hmm, I don't want to get another bee apocalypse by not having enough beekeepers. Oh. The jelly storage cell. <laughs> jelly stored evenly across all jelly storage cells. So even if this one is half full, they're all half full. Oh, okay. True bee fact 11. Hive time features the sounds of bees from Australian honey farms. Recorded within the central north island of the island state of Tasmania. Neat. But I thought Tasmania was its own country. Does Tasmania have... I don't know. I guess I really don't know. Sell upgrades. Now we want... Um, probably the more of these. Oh, we need more foragers real bad. I don't know how long this bear alert's going on, but... I need to get back to my regular... Population growth. No, not regular. We need more bee sitters as you again. Yeah, we need we need to we need to be be sitting. We need to be sitting. We are out of pollen. We have no pollen. We need forage. We need foragers is what we need. But making the map room was doesn't actually. I mean, that lets us have a more max foragers, but it doesn't actually increase the number of foragers. That's only from this. But right now, it's just a matter of getting more bees, because we're at half of our bee capacity. Our bee capacity. So this will be another jelly refinery. Are they? Yeah, okay. Game keeps reminding me that I can make things faster, but that's just not likely to happen if we're being honest with ourselves. Air attack! Okay. Old buddy was able to take a few swings at the hive on challenge. What's that? Oh my gosh! Oh, okay. That's what that does. I had no idea what was going to happen, but that's... Okay, okay. We need more wax assembly... We lost wax assembly and wax storage, which includes max wax. I guess it could have been a lot worse, maybe. Yeah, that probably could have been much worse. But we're at max speed capacity, which is good. Let's get another two wax assemblers back online. And then up our wax storage. Did I lose anything else noteworthy? I don't think so. Well, in that case, is that another jelly refinery here? The important thing is we have as many bees as we can get, which means I can drop down less of these for now. But we need to spike that up if we ever get in danger of losing them again. <laughs> oh, we're not researching anything. We need to fix that for sure. Cell upgrades. Jelly storage upgrade? I mean, that would be good. But really, it's jelly refinery upgrade, but require, that requires 150, which we can't, which we're probably gonna, we'll lose the game before we get that. We'll go with the nursery upgrade. See how that helps. Um, yeah, we just need to get, wait for more. There. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Got it? Okay, so we finished the nursery upgrade. I feel like finishing upgrades is important, and I'm... Barracks upgrade, wax assembler, and... The jelly refinery upgrade is... feels important, but, like... Allow foraging zones to be pollinated? I don't quite understand what that means, but I'll go for it. Well, 
We can make more jelly refineries, and that's kind of needs to be our goal right now, doesn't it? Storage, jelly storage. Yeah, we just need jelly storage right now. Now that we know that we can lose an entire swath at once, maybe having them clustered like this isn't the best idea? Maybe, maybe. Um, well, we'll keep on making stuff. Oh, need more honey. Uh, we have, do we have enough honey refinery? No idea. But we need jelly storage a lot. Are we not researching? We finished research. Okay. Cells are all research. B upgrades. Those all require way too much jelly. Honestly, it looks like it's got to be all jelly all the time for our battle strategy, which means we need more honey too, doesn't it? No, we have tons of honey. We're just not making the jelly fast. I'm worried about the queen's health. So we need to get at least... We need to get a lot more jelly storage, because we can't even hold 600 if we had it. So maybe the jelly storage capacity is going to be super worth it. Jelly refinery, as soon as we get enough honey to justify it. We probably need more honey too, I, don't, I guess, suppose. Let's continue our current plan. Uh, do we need a little bit more nurseries? I, d I just don't want to be not at max bees, you know? Okay, not enough wax for that. Let's grab another wax refinery. <laughs> Research. Um, nectar storage upgrade is more expensive than we can get, which is not great. What, what should we be researching? I mean, we kind of like all of our... I guess we need more storage stuff in general. We'll just keep on doing more storage. I wasn't planning on this being the whole stream. I have other like three other games I wanted to get to, but I'm actually pretty engaged in this. <laughs> and this will all be honey storage. Fun? Oh, wait, what do we need for honey storage? Wax. Wax is our bottleneck. Maybe we just need more bees, too. Maybe we just need more nursery parties. That, you know, that's probably a good idea. Our ratio seems pretty good. Mm -hmm. Still worry about the queen, though. How do we check that again? Drawing room info? No. Hmm. Storage for honey. There we go. <laughs> now let's get more storage for the other stuff. Storage for pollen. And then more storage for nectar. So it seems to spike. It's like pollen and nectar seem to just spike up to full, and then I end up using it because I end up doing a bunch of construction at once. I suppose I don't... You know, we got warned about the attack last time. I suppose I don't need defenders until I'm told about an attack. We'll just go for a low number of defenders. Wait, do I need to upgrade these individually? Oh. Oh. 
why is the the error the upgrade um in progress error that still sounds like sans now upgraded nursery where new bees will spawn upgrade nurseries further increase the hive capacity oh wow by a lot and bees to be twins oh so you can get double bees okay that seems super worthwhile that's jelly storage Okay, so we have two of those. You know what? We can get rid of this jelly storage to make another uh, Giga Nursery. That does seem very valuable. Upgrade Nursery as soon as we get more nectar. Come on. There. Good. Now we need more nectar storage as well. That's good. That should be plenty for now. Research. We have we have maxed out on. We're maxed out on uh, royal jelly, which really just means we need more jelly storage because that is the most important thing right now. The little day at the jelly refinery. Good, good, good. And we need more bee late beekeepers. Just because we're already down to 40 out of 140, and that ebb and flow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was twins. Nice. I just, just saw that. Storage for jelly requires a lot of wax, but we're going to be getting a lot more wax in the future because we are... I kind of... It's interesting that I don't have specific control. Like, I don't have actual... Hmm, interesting. I can't actually change these values. Huh. Was I saying? I have no idea. It's a mystery. We may never know. Looks like we need another map room. That's fine. Um, storage for jelly. Okay, honey reserves low. But I have a lot of honey manufacture, so I think it's more just a matter of waiting for them to make it. Like, I hit a bottleneck and I think, okay, clearly I need to add more things to solve a bottleneck, but I don't think that's the case. Looks like the case is more... I'm just looking at things now. Defense? Oh, oh! These need to be spread out! I didn't know that. So we're going to need to add a bunch more barracks in these other areas. That's why this area got crushed, is because my barracks were all down here, huh? Okay, 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 okay. Now that actually reads a lot like the old Sim City, the way police worked in the old Sim City game. I mostly played Sim City on the Super Nintendo, the Sim City, yeah, Super Nintendo Sim City. Which I know isn't like the best game in the world. It's not the best Sim City by basically any metric you could imagine. But I enjoyed it, and it was fun. And honestly, at the end of the day... Oh, I can also go into a thing. Okay. Um... Alright, so we're going to make a big map room here. This is going to be a, a four-point map room. Yes, we have max bees. Uh, honestly, yeah, having bee quantity appears to be one of the most important aspects. We have 94... Good, good. We can actually build more uh, jelly refineries. We'll just make an entire row of jelly refineries right here. I feel like we did for honey before, but more so. Honey's still being made. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight honey, and one, two, three, four, five jelly. I probably want more 
plenty of refineries uh, too. And I probably need to be doing more researching too now that I think about it. Solar upgrades honey? Perfect. That'll take a few minutes, but that'll be worth it. Roll cell, no. Resource cells, honey. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I know. Having max B count, it seems to be some one of the most important things, honestly. Ooh! Specialization is for other insects. Hindwings, by fighting on individuality and self-determination, have been doing their rounds again, inspiring a portion of the pipe's population to become workers. Okay. Oh, wow, we just- almost every just buddy just became a worker. That's probably bad. But I'm, so it's fine. Probably also fine. Bad, but fine. Uh, this is, needs to be all jelly. Until they die. So they'll be workers and then they'll die. Which means that certain, yeah, research is going to be painfully slow until then. Just because we don't have as many researchers. And they're already dying off because workers, they don't live so long. I need more barracks over here. I think. And where's that's not that's defense. Okay, yeah. See, it's starting to come. To, okay. Okay, 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 okay. It's getting there. It's getting there. I'm starting to understand. Yeah, that seems fine. And then these all need to be. No, these all need to be jelly manufacturer, or at least many of them. Good. And then jelly storage basically for everything else, huh? Requires just more wax. <laughs> and I'll fill up basically everything else with jelly storage and see if we can get up to 100. Oh, wait, we have a uh, 94. We can get jelly storage upgrade. Yeah, we need 100. We need 600 jelly. We're doing that. We're absolutely doing that. But I'm not going to do six times as many of these. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I think that's going to do it. I don't know how long we have until new... Oh, five minutes? Uh-oh. That better be the first possible time to get it. Not We need. We better not need, not have to have that much by then. Otherwise, we're really boned. We're not going to get this in five minutes. I probably could if I knew this game better. But, I mean, I don't. So, like, that's not a thing. Drop that a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I think honestly might might need more. I don't know. We need more everything. We'll just sit back a moment. Oh, this was gonna be a barracks. I remember that now. Buzz, 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 buzzing around. Buzz, buzz. Hmm. One hundred seventy-four capacity on that. We gotta push that up. But this will help a lot. <laughs> so, you know what? Might, maybe we should just go mostly f into workers? I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. But we just... Only well, we ended up to only 194. Gosh, that was not worth it. We spent so many jam on that. I think we just need more workers, huh? Yeah, I think we need less builders now, and more workers. We still need foragers, though. We'll just vibe with this for a minute. 
three minutes. Mm hmm. This seems like a, they're definitely like a relaxing game that you could just play for a very long time. Like any sim game, really. That's just how sim games. We have tons of wax. We have tons of. Uh, Uh oh. What's that? I saw little smoke puffs over there and that made me nervous. Stefan has been born. There's something special about Stefan. Um, nectar will dilute before they return, but they can focus. Okay, so we'll have more pollen, but no less nectar. Okay. That's... Well, we need pollen too, though, so that's actually bad. Queen. Two minutes. Ooh. I mean, we're definitely gonna make, not going to make it in time. We only have 100. And getting up to 600 actually seems like a bit of a task. So I think we'll probably just wait to see what happens when this new queen thing comes off. I assume that's the earliest time where that's we can, we can start making a new queen. Or I guess I could just make this the stream and do another Godot. Nah, nah, nah. We'll just do... We'll just... Eh. The game's actually free, so you can just, like, go grab it. And I recommend it. <laughs> um, resource. Yeah, we don't have the nectar for that. We don't have the nectar for... We need, just need nectar. And the nectar's not coming back. For a while, so we are just empty on nectar. That's a shame. And we'll see what happens when this timer is down. Bee activity. We have idle bees. Why do we have idle bees? No idle breeders. Oh, because the worker the workers aren't building things right now. But we need to have them on staff. Foragers, I don't know why foragers would ever be um, idle. We should have enough exits to support all of them. I think. Mm -hmm. This is actually a useful chart. I, we usually don't look at stuff like this. And then defenders are kind of always somewhere between idle, right? Like, we don't actively... Oh! Ah! Midlife crisis. It's the Queen's birthday. Not just any birthday. The big ol' one slash two. Halfway through the Queen's average lifespan. Exciting times. Okay. Okay, so now we can get a new Queen. And if we wait twice as long, then we just would never get a new Queen. Then the Queen passes away and we lose. Okay. I think we are actually going to save here and try on another game. I don't think I'll save... Sure, perfect. Yay! Woot. I don't think we're going to... I don't know. Let's try another of these Godot games. Because that one's better than I expected, honestly. Oh, this one isn't really a game, but I wanted to show it off as well. Although... There we go. See if that shows up. There we go. This isn't a game per se. This is a tool. But it is a tool made in Godot, so it does match our hmm, stipulation for the stream. I'm no artist. I don't know how to art. But this is Pixelorama, and it is a pixel editing software for 8 bit style games. And setting up, um, yeah, different palettes. I assume it has layer tools. I don't, haven't really looked at this, and honestly, looking at any editing software for the first time is just going to be confusing. Oh. Mm hmm. Interesting. I won't stick on this for too long, other than to say this is a thing that exists. And it is made in Godot, which, you know, good signs. 
Oh, I can set different things to left and right mouse. Okay, I can set different tools to left and right mouse button. Actually, I don't get to do that very often. And it does also have an animator, and this can be used to create animated pixel art characters. If anybody's good at that, um, hit me up because I'm not, and I actually do want to make a little pixel art jade to run across my uh, loading screens in probably a 16-bit look. <laughs> All right, next up we have Exodiac Demo. We're just going to be doing the demo version for now. But it's, uh, it's Star Fox. All right, let me switch over to my controller. Um... Okay, this is... Oh, it's recognizing my mouse as a controller. Oh, I don't like that. Maybe I need... I... Okay, just, I just plugged in my controller, so let me see if I close and reopen it if it'll work. So, I have a SwiftPoint mouse, which I adore. This mouse is the best mouse that I've ever used. Bar none. Okay, good. Now, now if I start up with the... My controller connected, then it recognizes it. Hmm. <laughs> so a lot of people think of Godot as only being a 2D engine, but that's not true. Now, this isn't admittedly the best example of 3D, since this is just a, well, a Star Fox. Um, sure. Yeah, my Swift Point mouse, Swift Point uh, 700. Yep, my Swift Point 700. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and this is just a Star Fox clone. I won't spend too long in here. I have... Oh, I avoided that out of instinct at first. Can I actually hit the ground? No. Yes, maybe. I don't know. I never really played Star Fox, despite being of that generation of gamer. I re Ooh, whoops. I respect it. I think it's a fantastic game. But I never got into it myself. My 3D gaming mostly start was uh, started with Ocarina of Time and, and similar things. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. Is that a boss? Are you a boss? Hello, boss. Oh, you seem to be a ah, you seem to be a boss. Heck. Oh, is that a repair? Ah, nice, nice, nice. But yeah, Godot is capable of doing 3D stuff. Uh, oh, we have to hit this. Okay. Oh, wait, there was a checkpoint. Um, oh, if I hold that down, I can lock on. Oh, that's how I do missiles. Got it, got it. Do I have a limited number of missiles? Doesn't look like it. Ha oh, ah, okay, that's fine. That's not fine, actually. It's terrible. Okay, okay, okay. But no, functionally, this works. I mean, this is just a neat little Star Fox clone. Can I shoot that? It's flashing. Okay, yes, it's flashing. That means I can shoot it. I don't need to, though, because I can just avoid it. I don't know how much I need to shoot, in general. Like, I don't know how much stuff I'm supposed to shoot versus how much stuff I'm supposed to evade. Oops, I tried to dive for that shield, and I didn't get it. And I paid for it. And we're dead. We'll go one more round. <laughs> but yeah, I'm mostly playing the... the free stuff on Godot right now. Because, oh, did we? Yeah, oh, we did start the checkpoint, I think. Ah, okay, okay, okay. One, two, three. That's cool. Okay, I like that. I just need to get that all the time. Oh, I can't lock onto those. Okay, okay, okay. Good to know, good to know. Now, I want to go on this side here. Yeah, I... Oh, I didn't get it. Heck. One, two, three. Oh, it's dead. There we go. Oh no! Oh, I saw that at the last moment. I saw what it was doing. You! Stop that. You're dangerous. You're super da Ah! Heck, heck, you're just doing that to all of them. What? Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, what was my other... Oh yeah, I have a big missile button. Oh, that just blows everything up. Okay, so that's... Okay, okay, okay. More like a Twin B style missile. Twin B is one of those games that I'm more familiar with, like, as a title 
than actually having played it. I have a bad feeling. Okay, I can... It, I wonder if that's actually... Uh-oh, we have a boss. We'll see what happens with this boss. Boss Scorpion. Cool. Oh, I like that design. One, two, three, pun. One, two, three, pun. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I see what it did. I just see... Okay, I see what it did. I got it. Heck, heck. Oh. Um... I, uh, how do I avoid that? I don't know. But let's keep on shooting it. Two, three. I should probably just be doing regular shots. But I like these rockets. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, cross slash. That's fine. You, you know what? You're down to half health. I'm down to half health. I'm starting to understand the fight. There's nothing to worry about here. Oh, did I knock one of those off? I think I... Oh, yeah. No, I knocked one of his arms off. Okay, so that's only going to get the one side now. Ah, that's actually great. There's two different logics of boss design. Some people think that bosses should be designed... Ooh, cross? Okay. That was... I probably should have gone. Okay. Some people think that bosses should be designed... Oh, yeah, no, I'm much better at shooting. Oh, you're not dropping any of them. Oh, there is the last piece. It's the tail. Some people think that bosses should be easier in the beginning, and some people think that bosses should be easier at the end. Both make sense. Bosses being easier at the beginning means that you ramp up in difficulty, and as you get better at the boss, the boss becomes stronger. And thus keeping the challenge rating throughout the entire thing, instead of just getting to end. I'm just saying that doesn't always happen. Ooh, whoa, whoa, I almost hit me. Other people think the other way around, that, that bosses should be easier at the beginning, and then as you get a sense of accomplishment as you beat them up. This means that the, the later stages of the boss fight are not as difficult, and once you get to a certain percentage of health, you naturally start to have a higher win rate just because you've already accomplished and you've already broken its armor off, or you've already snapped it and, you know, broken up its weapon so it can't hurt you as much. So that gives you the reward of success partway into the, into the boss fight, which is good and fine. That's actually just a different way of designing a boss, and some games do both. Um. Oh. Okay. We'll do a little bit more because I'm, I'm on my train of thought. Some games do both. Some games have a component that of the of some bosses that makes it easier to throughout the fight. And some are do uh, don't. Some have <laughs> bosses get easier. That boss got easier throughout the fight, but as I got partway through the fight, I felt, okay, no, I've got this. I can win this. And I just felt better about it. Which is valuable. But if you want a long, intense boss fight like Lady Maria from Bloodborne, then you can't... You want the player biting their knuckles until the end of the fight. But if you want a... <laughs> a... I guess it works well for narrative boss fights as well. Like, Sif is an, an example of using the the Soulsborne genre to finish the thought. Sif is easier at the, is easier at the end of the fight because it's weakened and tired and you... Um, oh, oh, I didn't know if that was going to open. That was... Okay, okay. Ooh, stylish. One thing I have noticed about all the Godot games is that they've opened up in a relatively small window. And I haven't really tried uh, full screening them. I will in a moment, actually. Not sure. Bam. Nope. I hit Alt Enter and not full screen, which probably means that they didn't program that as a hotkey. I mean, I can, be, I can adjust the screen size. So it's not like it's. Uh, well, I also noticed that I can't. If an enemy dies in one hit, the game won't let me lock on more than once to, uh, on it. So I can't overkill enemies with lock on. Oh, fire plumes. Yeah. My impression with Godot so far as an engine is that it's very good for retro uh, stuff, retro style games. 
Unity is good for retro style games too, it has all the tools and does have a lot more tools, but if you make money on Unity, Unity will contact you and say, hey, um, that'll be a couple thousand dollars a year, forever, as long as you have your company. Now, realistically, you're not going to hit that point in Unity until you're at the point where, um, where that is a reasonable business expense, but it's definitely a business expense that a small studio might be able to um, ignore. I'm starting to detect low frequency seismic activity. Boss fight? Are we already at a boss? Are we doing good? Are we actually doing good at this game? I've never been good at a Star Fox game before. Oh, this is the... Hello. Oh, kind of like a Moldworm style. I dig it, I dig it. Found the source of those tremors. <laughs> what about this? Does that actually hit things? Ah! Ooh, that's the best cool effect. Okay, okay, okay. There it is. Ah! Bust, 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 bust. I feel like I should be mashing more. I have a comfortable mash. I can I can do a fast mash. More like this. But I usually just do a, a... Unless I'm playing a game that requires heavy mashing, this is kind of my casual mash rate. If you... Oh, hello. You're doing that now, I see. Ah! I missed with my big missile thing. That's too bad. I didn't know I could miss with it, but apparently I can, and it's better. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't know if we've got this. I don't know if we've got this. Okay, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. This boss seems a, doesn't seem a lot easier, but it does seem a little bit easier now that we've broken up a bunch of its componentry. Ooh, I almost got all of it. Whoop, whoop, heck. Okay, okay, okay. There, that's all of its componentry. Now we just need to... It'll have a new weak spot based on how the bat last boss went. Where is it? Can I lock onto something? There it is. Uh-oh. Ow! Heck, 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 heck! Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! Okay, so this boss actually gets a little bit stronger near the end of its life cycle. Because now that it hasn't that new attack, which was... Well, almost killed me. Come on, where are you? Reveal your face. Come on. Oh, I almost thought I was going to... Oh, look at this health. Ah, oh, so close. Ah. But that is EX Zodiac. I think that'll be good. Yeah. Hmm, <laughs> hmm,